Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Colleen. I'm Colleen, but this morning I actually have tea. <laughs> we were out fighting a fire on our property. There was no damage except for we lost a couple of acres of, of grass. Um, and I caught a cold yesterday. So I'm starting my day with tea. And I promised uh, you, we, I've been doing this in a private group that I have on Facebook. And many people wanted to share these messages. And so I promised that today I would start doing it publicly. So Happy New Year. Speaking of New Year, and New Year's resolutions, because this was a New Year's resolution of mine, is to do these uh, chats in the morning and share them on my blog. Do you have any goals for this year? Now, I know a lot of people set weight loss goals. I have a health goal that uh, I'm working on as well. But what other types of things, uh, what other types of goals are you setting? Feel free to share them below if you want. But I challenge you to maybe look at your goals this year a little bit differently. You know, I, I do have business goals and financial goals, but I also have some very strong personal goals, some self goals, if you will. And one of those is to look at my values. Where do my values lie? What's important to me as a person? How do I want to grow to be a better person this year? You know, we're coming up on the four year anniversary of my dad's passing. He uh, passed away four years ago. <laughs> And I know that at the end of his life and his last few months, his last few weeks, his last few days, his last few hours, there were certain things that he focused on and they weren't financial goals. Um, of course, he wanted to make sure that my mom was taken care of, but there were things that he focused on that were different. So that got me to setting new types of goals every year where I want to grow in virtue. I want to become a better person and life is a journey. And if we're on a journey, we're constantly getting better. But on that journey, if we don't know where we want to go, we don't know what map to pull out. And if we're aiming for something, how do we know what to aim at if we don't have a target? So that's the types of goals that I set for myself. And I, you know what? When you compare yourself to yourself, that's the best type of, of way to build confidence. And um, I have some information that will be coming in, in coming weeks on that. But you can only compare yourself to yourself. You know, how are you a better person this year than you were last year? What areas do you want to grow in? Do you have anger issues you want to deal with? Do you want to smile more? Do you want to grow in charity, to grow in faith, to grow in love? to become more prudent, to become wiser. What areas of your life do you want to grow? So I thought I focus on one particular value or virtue per month that I want to grow in. And in January, I think the basis of everything is my faith. And so I have resolved this year to read through the Bible in a year. Uh, I have a program where it takes me through the Bible, through different Old Testament, New Testament, Psalms, and the Catechism. So every morning I do something like that that I read. Then every month I have a certain thing that I work on. And, and again, this month is faith. So there's different aspects of my faith that I'm growing, on, uh, growing in. Um, and then next month will be something different. And I'm sure I'll talk about that in the different uh, coffee chats as well. But what type of types of goals do you have? Do you, have you thought about doing something like that, comparing yourself to yourself? And I'm ta not talking about beating ourselves up, but recognizing the gifts that God has given us and recognizing that we do have strengths. And we may be weak in some areas, but to acknowledge our strengths and maybe focus on that and, and where we can grow a little bit. And like I said, I'll have more on that either on the blog or in, in upcoming chats of how you can do that and assess yourself as well. And you can find personal assessments online. Um, but I'm just taking things just from a different angle. So what are your goals this year? What areas do you acknowledge that God has given you a gift? And what areas do you think, you know, I can grow a little bit more in that area? So Feel free to share those thoughts below if you're here on Facebook or head over to my blog and share it on the blog. If you're watching on the blog, feel free to uh, comment below here as well. And please feel free to share this video and any upcoming videos that I'll be doing. And in the meantime, enjoy your coffee or your tea, stay healthy, and we'll see you next week.